What's going on guys? Kyle Persley here, digital marketing coach, agency owner, and consultant. And today what I'm going to be talking about is how to systematize your media buying from a bird's eye view perspective. The reality is people overcomplicate how to buy their media, whether it is uh, generating uh, leads or getting purchases or anything like that. All right, what you want to do, it's this is super, super, super practical. None of these gurus are even talking about this in this, this way unless I've never seen it before. I don't know. But the reality is you want to systematize your media buying in a certain amount of steps, um, not just steps, but also a priority checklist. So think about this. You are on Facebook and you are launching a new campaign. You don't even know what's going to work. Maybe it's your very first campaign. You need to break things out into pillars. And here's what these, here are these few pillars. First and foremost, you are creating your campaign, which has your first offer in it. Okay. And the, you are going to be testing your offer. You're going to be testing your targeting. You're going to be testing your ads, like your creatives on your ads, on top of your ad copy and where you're sending the traffic. This could be a landing page or a lead form. Um, let me also digress. You can, you need to start testing your offer potentially at the end of this uh, pillar. So let me reiterate, you want to test your targeting first. After you're testing your targeting, you want to test your creatives and your ad copy and where you're sending the traffic to. All right, so like your landing pages or, or lead forms, right? After that is done, and typically, by the way, you want to test your assets with about, within about 48 to 72 hours um, before you even make a change on your ads. You have to stay disciplined. Remember, um, you want to manage stress and make good decisions if you need to focus on building momentum and carrying momentum while managing stress and making better decisions, you should check out my video that I made uh, in, uh, earlier. I'll link it somewhere in this video so that way you can check it out. But long story short, guys, um, we have pillars. And when you launched your campaign, you have one campaign. There's typically five ad sets or different targeting methods below it. You can have more than five. Five is just a general number. And I like to test uh, budgets r roughly about ten, five to $10 a day because at the end of the day, what's going to happen is the cost of that platform is starting to rise. And so therefore it, it's harder to reach a certain amount of people. So the more you spend, you reach more people, you can get more data off of that. So after testing your targeting, it's the same thing guys, like you're um, testing your creative. So you could take, uh, you could do this in multiple different ways. The cool part is um, like ads themselves, like the creatives in the targeting, maybe you have three uh, creatives inside that, uh, targeting. And what needs to happen is you'll see that the creatives aren't spe being spent evenly. So the creatives don't get justice. As a result, you can take the wing targeting that one and you can simply say uh, creative one, two, three, four, five. These are all ad sets now with the same targeting. And you can test uh, again, five, $10 a day for 72 hours. And you can see what ads is getting the, the best results right? And then you can kind of move into that same aspect with forms and landing pages and things like this. And what you can do, what you've done from this point is pretty much systematize your media buying from different stages and pillars. All right. So the pillars, your campaign is going to have your targeting about five targeting, three to five creatives inside it. After that's done, you find out what targeting wins. You can test your creative segment. To, uh, I call it a segmentation. So same audience, different creative, just one creative inside it. And then from that point, you can test your uh, landing pages. You can also test your uh, lead forms. And sometimes if you're testing your landing pages and lead forms, because the traffic could be not the best platform that you're sending traffic to, you may have to restart your whole campaign over as far as testing the targeting to just a, uh, just a pro tip. Now, as far as testing, you know, um, your creatives, as an example, I'm going to go ahead and pop open this cool um, training I have internally for my, my media buyers here at a new decent autopilot. And as far as like training goes, um, what I do for my own agency, let me just show you guys real quick, is I go into a complete setup walkthrough uh, from A to Z, updating the onboarding launch pipeline and go high level, just different systems along the way, uh, 2.0 training, targeting optimizations, creative testing, uh, 1.1 1. 1 out of two, and then 1.5 out of two, then there's two of two, and then 
a complete setup for another a campaign if we need to. But um, when I'm going into like targeting optimization as an example, you can see ad optimization priority data trends. So it's finding out click through rate, cost per click, all link, all clicks, cost per link click, all link clicks. And there's ad creatives and scaling the budget by 20% every day. But the reality is guys, like you need to have a couple of different things. Those two things are making sure you are having pillars uh, of where to test, always being a step ahead with your pillars and then having metrics to track with that being said. Now, here's the beautiful part about this whole entire thing of what I'm describing to you. You can take the foundations of what I said and you can apply them to Google ads, YouTube ads, Instagram ads, uh, Facebook ads, TikTok ads. They all have different targeting methods and metrics along the way. So I hope this helps and uh, feel free to subscribe and let me know in the group if you like it. Thank you so much.